Hi everyone. So today, as the title suggests, I'm doing a DIY car seat belt clip holder. Now, for those of you who are unaware of what that is, it's basically a second set of hands um, when doing up your child in a car seat. So if you've ever had to buckle up your child in a car seat, you'll know exactly what I mean. You put your child in a car seat and then you have to dig out the buckles underneath them, either disturbing them or waking them when they're sleeping, just to get them all harnessed up. So with these little car seat belt clip holders, they basically hold your buckles open like this. Um, you place your child in the seat and you just buckle them on top so that way you don't have to disturb them or kind of dig underneath your child to get the buckles. Now this obviously isn't an original idea. The only manufacturer that I know that sells something like this is Lula Clips. And I'll picture them here. They are an orange plastic set of helping hands that have a magnet on the back as well as a pin backing so you can attach it to your car seat. And they retail for about $14.99 um, plus about $5 shipping and handling, I think. I don't know if they sell them anywhere in retail stores. I haven't actually found them. But of course, as you know me, I like to DIY projects either to save money or to customize it to something that I want. So the reason why I decided to do this, I mean, 15, 20 bucks isn't that big of an investment since you're going to be using these clip holders for quite a long time. But the orange hands is kind of what got me. I like blue. If they came in blue, I probably would have bought them and I wouldn't have to DIY this. But since they don't, I decided to make cute little monkey ones instead. So overall, this project probably took 10 minutes or less, not including drying time, um, and it cost, I think, $5 in total. So since this is a really quick process, I'm not going to show you a video, I'm just going to explain how I did it. Um, I got these little monkey wooden pieces from Walmart in the craft section for about 50 cents a piece. They are quite thin, they come in different um, colors, sizes, styles, depending on what's in your Walmart at the time. So the Lula clips originally are plastic, but wood works just fine. Something sturdy would work great. And you're also going to need some bar pins. I got these at Michael's for $4 for 64 pieces. You only need two, really, but um, this is all that it came in. So they come in different sizes again, I just got the small ones. And it's basically a little pin that you're going to adhere to your wood piece and attach to your car seat. Um, the best ones to get since you have kids and sharp things are never a good idea around them. It has this little clasp on it. won't really focus on camera, but it has this little clasp that you twist to open and then you can unpin it. And you can pop this out and open that up. And then when you put it back in, you can rotate this little lock around it, so then it basically locks around it so it's very child safe. You're going to need a set of strong magnets. I couldn't find any at Staples or Home Depot or Michaels or the ones that I wanted exactly. I wanted these ones. They're nice and flat and round. They kind of look like a battery. I got 10 of these off of eBay for $3. Um, they are rare earth magnets. They're very, very difficult to pull apart. In fact, it kind of hurts to try, but I found that these work the best because when you lay them against your little piece of wood, it's going to be less bulk between the fabric and the wood piece, so it's not kind of like bulging out a bunch. And the last item you'll need is some kind of super glue or wood glue or something like that, what have you. I'm just using Gorilla Glue and found that it worked perfect. So since I already have one made, all you do is take your wooden piece, you can paint it, do whatever you need to with it if it's not already ready. Flip it around on the other side. You're going to want to glue this bar pin onto the top or really anywhere that you want to, and take your magnets and super glue them to the wood. So I did a couple of test runs before I actually glued it on, and I found that one earth magnet didn't really stick to the, the car seat belt clip as well as I had hoped, so I doubled up, used two of them here, and it works great. The only thing I wanted to suggest when you're actually gluing the magnet onto your wood, don't glue it directly onto the back. I put the magnets down and I put a seal of glue all the way around it. Um, I figure that if you have a layer of glue between your magnet and your wood, it's not going to be as strong gripping onto your belt. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I've got two monkeys here and you'll notice the magnet placement is different on the backs. So and the reason for this is it depends on which side your buckle is sitting on. So if I've got a car seat buckle on this side, since the magnet's closer on here, the belt clip buckle would sit right here. And then if you put it on the opposite side, I put it by the monkey's tail because then it's going to sit closer here. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I tried to make these videos short, but they all end up longer than I expect them to. But if you like that, please give me a thumbs up. Um, as always, feel free to comment in the down bar below. Send me a private message, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. So as you can see, I have it snapped together just like this with a little snap. To make this, all I did was take a burp cloth, or sorry, a face cloth, fold it in half, and then fold it into thirds like this.